they come in an egg carton, just like they do at the grocery store, which is kind of neat. But this actually helps to keep them safe while we bring them home. And inside, you want to see the first little sneak peek? Willie is dying to see them. I only ended up getting six eggs, but I'm going to tell you about that when I get back home. We have six duck eggs here. So I'm going to close these up, keep them nice and safe and out of the way of this guy here. And I will meet you back at the incubator. See you in a bit. Alright guys, here we are eggs here. I'm kind of at a funny angle because I want to make sure you can see everything that's happening here. Um, I've washed my hands. We learned about that yesterday. I need to wash my hands with soap and water so that I don't give any germs to those eggs and those future ducks and that I'm going to wash my hands after I touch them because they are a little bit dirty and I don't want to get any germs from them. So I have my incubator here. I have my egg journal. If you have your journal, mine was starting to fall apart a little bit, so I did put two little staples in mine so my pages don't fall out. If your mommy or daddy wants to do that too, that would be a great idea. So before we do anything, let's take a look at these eggs. So I told you in the car, I only got six eggs. Do you remember the other day we said we were going to get seven duck eggs? But I ended up getting just six eggs because I was being a little bit of a scientist and I bought a little device that's in here called a hygrometer. It's a really big word, but it's measuring the water in the air of our incubator. Remember how we learned that ducks need water in here so that the air is moist, it can keep up that humidity? So I bought a little thing that will help me to make sure we have the perfect air for our duckies. So it's really gonna help them out and help us out to know that they're safe and happy. But in order for it to fit, I could only get six duck eggs instead of seven. So I felt that that was a good choice to make. So we have six duck eggs. If you do want to change that in your book, um, it was just on that very first page that it said seven, and we can change that to six. So we can do our very first page. I'll put it up on the screen for you on the getting started page if you want to find that one. But we can see now the color of our eggs, and they're all the same. Can you see that? They're all kind of, um, I'd almost say like a bluey white color. And they're dirty, they're definitely dirty. You can see all the little dirt from their mama nest there. So you can totally draw white, or you can write the word white or blue. I'm gonna write the word bluey white. And you can copy me if you'd like. And then we can also draw a picture of our eggs. So you could draw them sitting in the egg carton like this, or you can wait and see what they look like in the incubator and draw that picture on that page. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna put these eggs down for a second. Turn the page of my duck hatching journal, and I'm gonna find this picture that shows you what's inside our eggs. And this is why it's super important for us to be very careful with our duck eggs. If you can see in our picture, this is our egg right here. And our little duck is going to be this little tiny dot right there starting to grow. It actually hasn't even started to grow yet. But all that is keeping our duck safe is the clear albumin around it. That's the clear part of the egg. But the other part is, we always call these the two little braids that hold our duck in place. And they are just like a tiny little hair braid in this little egg. And so I need to be super careful when I hold the eggs and when I put them in the incubator that I don't shake them too much, I don't move them too much, because that little tiny braid is the only part that's keeping them where they need to be to hatch. So I gotta move very slowly when I do this, and I also wanna make sure my incubator is in a really safe spot that it's not gonna get hit. So if we were doing this in the classroom, we would have it on the bench and we'd have a big tape line around it that says, do not cross. And that's because if you hit the table with the incubator on it and it made all those little eggs shake, it can hurt the ducks that are inside the eggs. I'm gonna put this back very carefully for now. So you have this nice picture in your book. So you can see, I'll put it up on the screen too, but you can see on it all the different parts of the egg. So you can see in that middle part is the yolk and that's in your grocery store eggs. If you ever eat an egg, that's the yellow part of the egg. And that's where our whole duck is gonna be growing in that little yellow part. You can also see in that picture the shell. That's the outside white bluey part of our eggs. That's the hard part that protects them. There's the air pocket at the very bottom of that picture. We're gonna learn more about that later, but that's a very important part to help them hatch later on. 
There's also the start of our ducks. We can see that little dot, which we're gonna talk about tomorrow on day one. And then we can see the braid that's in there. So you can color this picture if you want or just leave it blank like that. But that is all yours to see. So if you also have your calendar, I put mine up on the wall so I can see it every day. I'm gonna show you something else up there on the wall tomorrow. But for today, we're on the day with the little incubator picture today. So if you're following along on your calendar, you could exit out, you could color it in, you could put a sticker on it, whatever you'd like to show, that's today and we're doing it right now. So we have our calendar. I've also got a pencil. I'm gonna need that for our duck eggs. I just took a little pause and I actually gave our duck eggs a little bath. Um, I had to be very careful because I wanted to make sure that braid, right, I kept that very safe, washed my hands, but the duck eggs were quite dirty because they were in a little nest. And so they had some dirt on them, probably some bird poop on them. And if I put all that in a warm and moist incubator, we might get a lot of germs growing in here. So I very carefully washed our eggs and they're all back here. They're still a little speckled. They're still kind of bluey white. And now, before I put them in the incubator, I'm actually going to write on the eggs with a pencil. When they're in the incubator, I think you're gonna see it in a second too, um, our incubator turns. We talked about that the other day when we learned about the incubator. And so our eggs in the incubator, hold this guy up, he's kind of big. They're gonna go in the incubator kind of sideways like this. Oop, like this. And if he sat like that for 28 days, our duck, probably be flat on one side or he wouldn't grow very healthy. They need to turn just like their mummy ducks do in the nest. And so in our incubator, you'll hear this little beep, 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 and then zzzz, as our incubator turns. And so the bottom plate kind of turns around, which makes these guys roll and it turns them onto their side. But I need to make sure they're turning and because they're all the same color on all of their sides, it's hard for me to see if they're turned or not. So I'm gonna put a number on one side and an X on the other side. So I'm gonna give this guy the number one. So I'm gonna make a one with my pencil on this side. My egg's still a little bit wet. I need to towel him off. These eggs, the house coat. I'm gonna put a one on this side. Kinda light, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. There's the one, Do you see it there, yeah. And then on the other side of him, I'm gonna very carefully turn him over. I'm gonna dry that side so my pencil works. Why do you think I'm using pencil instead of like a permanent marker? Sounds like it would write a lot nicer on an egg, doesn't it? But they're eggshells, they're very hard, which is fantastic to keep them nice and safe. But they're actually something called porous. And that means that they actually breathe and stuff through the eggshell. It looks hard and solid to us, but to a tiny little growing duck, they get a lot of air and moisture in and out of this shell. And so if I use something like a permanent marker, my marker is gonna go into the shell and all that not good permanent marker ink would go into our baby duck. Would you feel good if you chewed on a permanent marker? Ugh, no. But the pencil is okay. It's not gonna go through the egg. Give my nice big X on the side. Be nice and gentle. Oh, it's hard to see these ones. You see that? There's our X. So we have a one on one side and an X on the other side. I'm gonna put this guy back and I'm gonna do it to all of them. So hang tight. All right, so I've written the numbers on all of them and they all have an X on the other side. Some of them are a lot easier to write on. Some of them are really smooth and hard to write on. So like, look at this guy's number five. And then on this side, he's got his X. That one's a little bit easier to see. Right now, our duck eggs are sitting in their egg carton and nothing's happening inside them. They can actually stay out of this incubator for I think at least 10 days and nothing will happen inside them. They start to grow once the mummy duck sits on them. And since I don't have a mummy duck to sit on them, our incubator is the mummy duck. So they're gonna start to grow as soon as we put them in the incubator. So the second they go in here, those little baby ducks are starting. And tomorrow we'll get to see how much happens in even just the first day. So our incubator should be turning any second now. And we're gonna hear that little beep, 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 and then the zzzz. And you might be able to see, because I do have that hygrometer sitting in here, so you might be able to watch it spin around a little bit to see the turning happening before I put the eggs in. While we're waiting for it, 
Um, I'm gonna top up the water on the incubator so we make sure that our ducks have enough humidity in there to help them grow. So did you hear that little beep? And then I don't know if you can see this kind of moving closer to the camera. Very, very slow movement. There it is, that was the turn. So now we're ready to put our eggs in. So I've had the incubator on for a long time already because I wanted it to be the perfect home for them to come to. So it's already nice and toasty warm in there and the humidity is already up where it needs to be for them. As soon as I open it though, all that heat and humidity is gonna go away. But it'll be a little bit quicker to get back up to the temperature it needs to be. So we're gonna try to do this a little bit quickly. When I put the eggs in, you can probably look on a grocery store egg if you have some in your fridge, but there is kind of a fat bottom side and then it comes up to a pointy top side. And when I put them in, I'm gonna put them on their side with their number sticking up. And that pointy side is what's gonna be in the middle of our incubator. And that will help them when it's time to hatch because the air pocket, which we saw in that picture is at the bottom, and we need that to be a little bit near the top. So I'm gonna put them in with the pointy side towards the middle, and then we'll put the lid back on. Are you ready? Let's do this. So there's duck number one. Duck number two. Duck number three is this one. Duck number four. They're big eggs for ducks. This one's the biggest one. Duck number five. the lid back on. Let me give you a good shot. Here they all are in the incubator. And then this is that little hygrometer I was talking about that takes up a whole spot. So all the water I pour in here and then it comes underneath and up into here. So you can see, if I open that, maybe you can see, there's water inside there that gives them all their humidity. And as soon as we put this lid back on, our ducks are gonna start to grow. This is the beginning. Are you ready? Here it goes. Very carefully. Ta -da. Guys, it's starting. This is the beginning of our duck hatching. How exciting is that? So right now, our incubator is gonna start getting back up to temperature. It needs to, de to be 99.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than us just by a little bit. And then it also needs to get that humidity back up. I put water in it, so it's gonna start to climb. And with that little um, hygrometer that I put in, I actually can see the temperature and humidity on my phone, which is kind of nice. I can keep an eye on it. And then if it gets too hot or too cold, I know I gotta fix something. And if it gets too dry, I know I gotta fix something and add more water. So there it is. Our eggs are in the incubator. We've filled in our booklet. Maybe you've crossed off part of your calendar. I would love to see a picture of what you did in your journal with your little egg drawings. This would have been a great picture too if you haven't done your drawing. Um, you could draw the eggs in the incubator. I'll put that picture up as well. But send us a picture of what you did in your journal today. We cannot wait to see it and tune in tomorrow for day one.